Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another one. That's right, that's right, y'all. Four star offensive tackle Zahiri Addison and four star quarterback TJ Latif has made their way to Boulder, baby. And they was out there bowling last night, having a good time, what I saw on Twitter. You know what I mean? Them boys was doing their thing. Now, let's talk about this offensive tackle, four-star Zahiri Addison, man. This dude is him. And big ups to uh, Mr. Repress. You already know, man. Like I told you, boy, this Florida Pipeline, boy, something about it, something about it. Now, he is from Riverview, Florida, y'all. You know what I mean? That's right up the road from where I'm at, so that ain't too far away. You know what I mean? And you already know when it comes to us Florida boys, man, we got nothing but dogs, man. And this dude is 6'4", 290 pounds, y'all. Now, this could be a great addition. Like I said, now, he's the 2025, you know what I mean? We trying to get him for that class. At the end of the day, we have Coach Lowe Holt, who was a veteran in the NFL, coaching these young men. So now we're going to get these four-star, five-star dudes wanting to visit, you know? So you're going to start seeing this more and more and more. This is going to become the new norm, you know what I mean? We ain't going to be getting all these JUCO dudes, and that's no offense to the JUCO people. I had a homeboy who played at JUCO who worked his way up, and he doing his thing right now, you know what I mean? playing overseas but anyway what i'm talking about is now that we have established an offensive line now now other prospects is gonna want to play for our colorado buffaloes you know so i'm not gonna say he's 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 definitely gonna be signed on but it's good to see he got this big kool-aid smile on his face you know what i mean and um like i said that Florida pipeline is something serious about it. And the fact that Mr. Repress is in the picture, that speaks volumes. Don't get it twisted. Coach Prime is that dude when it comes to recruiting. But you always need somebody on the inside. And that is Mr. Repress. He is the Florida pipeline. Hands down. But anyway, like I said, he got a few more visits coming up here in May and June. You know, he going to be out there in Clemson, Florida State, and Oregon. So, you know, we do have our, uh, you know, our work cut out for us with those big uh, name programs. But like I say, you never know what may happen this year. Hill, we plan on showing up and showing out. So we're going to get a lot of dudes saying, hey, you know what? Let me pack my Louis bags and take them out to Boulder. Now, speaking of another offensive person hey tj latif latif i meant to say or latif i done heard it three different ways i don't know y'all know how i do with these names man these new names be messing me all up i'm just gonna say tj latif <laughs> now he's a four-star quarterback up out of california man you know he's a 2025 prospect now we already know when shadur leaves right now we don't really have a 2020 five quarterback committed you know what i mean we had one then they decommitted but that's another story for itself but at the end of the day like i always said hey we got ryan Starr and we got other people you know at that quarterback the quarterback room is deep but we need that one dude who is gonna be our shador for next year you never know looking at film on this dude hey man tj is out the balling man this dude is 6 to 195 pounds man do y'all understand how big of a quarterback this dude is he's not you know some guys be 6 to almost 175 185 but they still look skinny and scrawny you know what i mean now this dude here got some weight on him he's been balling man in 2023 y'all he completed 152 of his 214 passes y'all he averaged 63 percent and almost had 2,000 yards with 13 touchdowns now he did have a lot of interceptions though now i got i gotta go ahead and admit now those seven interceptions was like whew, you know just looking at statistic wise but he has the fundamentals you know what i mean just from what i've been looking at briefly so from what i'm looking at man this dude seemed like a very good quarterback he could be a great addition you know and like i said we already know our quarterback room is kind of filled right now, but we don't have a hard commit, so we need a Shador replacement. I think he's nah. the same height as Shador and just about the same weight, 185. 
200 by the time you get when it's all said and done. That, that could be a good look. I like to see, you know. Let's just see what he do. If, you know, he going to visit Nebraska here soon. And, hey, <laughs> we, <laughs> we just got to. Keep doing what we do on the back end, you know, to flip these dudes or hopefully sign one of these two dudes. But anyway, you already know the model. You already know the model, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm going to be right back with another one.